Previously, in the midst of their classes, Mash becomes the target of a bully named Silva from the Lang Dorm. However, Mash skillfully defeats Silva, earning himself a valuable gold coin. Lance cautions him about the Magia Lupus, the top seven students from the Lang Dorm who will come after him for his newfound coin. Despite the warning, Mash becomes disoriented while searching for his classroom and inadvertently walks into the presence of the Magia Lupus. Just as Mash arrives, he witnesses the leader, Abel, employing his powers to manipulate Silva like a puppet as punishment for his failure. Mash promptly apologizes for unintentionally damaging another door and playfully labels Abel as peculiar for conversing with a doll. Abel recognizes that Mash possesses a coveted gold coin and questions his motives for aspiring to become a divine visionary. Mash explains that his only desire is to lead a peaceful life with his family, but the current world refuses to accept him. Abel dismisses Mash's intentions as foolish and unworthy, stating his own objective of restoring the world to its rightful state. According to Abel, humanity thrived by eliminating the weak and those without magic, but he believes that society has grown feeble. He views humans as inherently savage creatures and aims to reinstate the natural order. Mash, however, think that Abel also simply wishes to live peacefully like he does, unable to comprehend the latter's perspective. In an attempt to persuade Mash, Abel proposes a deal, his freedom in exchange for the gold coin. Mash staunchly refuses. Abel retaliates by unleashing one of his puppets to attack Mash, but Mash skillfully evades the assault, using his legs to sever the puppet's strings. The puppet reverts to its true form as Sylvia, leaving Mash unimpressed by the lackluster challenge. Suddenly, another puppet seizes Mash, proving significantly stronger than its predecessor. The puppet snatches Mash's coin and flicks it over to Abel. Thrown into a pillar, Mash quickly rises to his feet, apologizing for underestimating the strength of Abel's puppet. Unexpectedly, Mash steps on Sylvia's head, declaring his intention to escort him to the infirmary. Abel questions whether Mash is giving up on the coin, to which Mash clarifies that he is merely prioritizing his actions. He firmly proclaims his determination not to lose, no matter how formidable their opponents may be. Mash departs with Silva, but Abel senses that something is amiss. He notices a missing button on his puppet, only to find it in his own hand instead of Mash's coin. Astonished, one of the students witnesses the puppet flicking the coin, but Mash swiftly rips off the button, propelling it at incredible speed to strike the coin mid-air, reclaiming it for himself. The girl is incredulous, while Abel finds Mash intriguing. In the infirmary, Silva suddenly awakens, bewildered by the events since his transformation into a doll. However, upon seeing Mash diligently working out, Silva realizes that Mash must have rescued him. He questions why Mash would save him when they were previously adversaries. Mash attempts to explain, but accidentally bites his tongue. After confirming that Silva is alright, Mash decides to leave, leaving Silva to contemplate his own actions. Meanwhile, in Mash's dorm room, Lances and Dot engage in a heated discussion. Lances remarks about Dot's new hairstyle, to which Dot retorts that it's none of Lance's business. However, Dot speculates that Lemon prefers guys with bangs. Finn wonders why they are in his room, but Dot becomes irritated, glancing at Lance's and believing he has led an easy life solely due to his attractive appearance. Determined to teach him a lesson, Lance and Dot prepare to fight, causing Finn to panic. Suddenly, Mash enters the room, urging them not to damage anything in his living space. Finn and Dot find the situation ironic. Dot surprises them by presenting a gift of herbal tea, emphasizing the customary gesture when visiting someone's place. Finn is taken aback by the gesture, sensing that there may be more to Dot than meets the eye. Meanwhile, Mash enjoys a cream puff, savoring the tranquility of yet another peaceful day. However, Lance interjects, cautioning them against becoming complacent and urging them to strategize methods to acquire more coins. Lemon suddenly appears, exclaiming that she has big news. Her excitement takes a detour as she indulges in a brief fantasy involving the group, but Finn promptly bursts her bubble, bringing her back to reality. Lemon guides them to a magical scale. The scale reveals the number of gold coins held by each dorm, with the Lang dorm already possessing 15 coins, while the Alder and Orca dorms only have one coin each. It becomes apparent that the Lang dorm has been taking coins from the other dorms, and the upperclassmen from the Orca and Alder dorm who could have intervened are currently engaged in internships. Consequently, the Lang dorm is well on its way to securing the next divine visionary position. With the Orca dorm preoccupied by their research, the responsibility of halting the Lang dorm's dominance falls upon Finn and his companions. The group becomes fired up, determined to defeat the Lang Dorm by overpowering its top-ranking students. However, Mash finds himself in the Owl Hut, where he has been assigned a week-long punishment of cleaning duties by the Headmaster. As the Owls continue to peck at him, Mash contemplates how they were just getting fired up. Lance decides to join him, expressing concern that the Lang students might target him due to being the sole possessor of a gold coin. He suggests using this as an opportunity to intimidate them, but Mash believes Lance is simply worried about him. Meanwhile, two Lang students approach, preparing themselves to seize Mash's coin. The owls persist in pecking at Mash, and suddenly, water appears beneath him, causing him to fall in. 
At the same time, Lance deftly evades a massive spinning blade. In the water, Mash struggles while Andrew and Shinri, the sixth and seventh members of the Maya Lupus, introduce themselves as they transform into their respective forms, a shark and a skilled blade wielder. They challenge Mash and Lance to a fight, placing a gold coin as a wager. Mash admits that he has never swum before, sinking further into the water. Andrew leaps into the water, intent on reaching Mash. Meanwhile, Shinri engages Lance in combat. Shinri launches attacks with his blades, but Lance expertly dodges, considering Shinri's magic, control over a spinning blade, to be relatively weak compared to his gravity magic. However, Lance finds himself distracted by the owls, causing him to miss an incoming attack. He tries to focus on casting his spell but recalls his sister's advice not to harm the owls. In the midst of their battle, Shinri notices the owls behind Lance, leading him to strike Lance with his double blades. Shinri recognizes Lance's wand, made of magnolia, and realizes that he hails from the Crown family, known for their expertise in gravity magic. Shinri believes that the fact that Lance ran away from home signifies his weakness, fueling his sense of superiority in defeating a member of the Crown family. Lance successfully casts his spell, causing a shovel to fall to the ground. Although Shinri is disappointed with the outcome, he proceeds to launch an attack with triple blades. However, he senses something amiss as he observes all the owls gathering in one spot. Lance utilizes his gravity magic to crush all the blades, explaining that the owls were in his way. He strategically dropped the shovel to puncture a bag of feed, attracting the owls to a single location. Undeterred, Shinri strikes with his strongest blade, but Lance effortlessly overpowers him using his gravity magic. Shinri is incredulous, unable to comprehend the vast difference in their power despite both possessing double lines. Lance asserts that someone like Shinri, who fights for personal superiority, cannot compare to him, as he fights with the purpose of saving his sister. In the meantime, Andrew boasts about trapping Mash in his sea field, confidently asserting that there is no way to escape. However, to his astonishment, Mash swiftly zooms past him, leaving Andrew unable to even see his movements clearly. Andrew starts to question his own perception, assuming he must be imagining things. Yet, Mash zips past him once more, revealing that he has learned how to swim and expressing gratitude to Andrew for helping him realize his newfound ability. Mash continues to swim around Andrew, turning the tables and making Andrew feel haunted. Determined to regain control, Andrew employs another spell, transforming into a more monstrous form. However, Mash relentlessly crashes into him, delivering powerful blows that Andrew struggles to withstand. Eventually, Mash manages to break free from the sea field and escapes. Lance seizes their coin, and they both conclude that the members of the Magia Lupus aren't as formidable as they had initially thought. Mash perceives them as insignificant. Yet, their confidence is short-lived, as another member of the group suddenly appears in an instant. Swiftly maneuvering past both Mash and Lance, the newcomer renders Lance's gravity spell ineffective. Mash promptly gears up and charges at full speed, but the mysterious individual evades his attack effortlessly. Lance ponders whether this person employs some form of teleportation magic, while the newcomer utilizes a magic bottle to gather his allies. The man takes his leave, assuring them that they will cross paths once more in the near future. Lance contemplates that defeating the Magia Lupus might pose a greater challenge than anticipated. As the masked man walks away, his mask begins to crack, triggering his recollection of the attack from Mash. He reflects on Mash's extraordinary speed, which was exhibited even without the use of magic, and he wonders if they share a similar ability or power. This bring an end to our episode. If you enjoyed our video don't forget to subscribe our channel, Annie Explainer.